back again with Ugtastic. I'm here at the Chicago Censure meeting with Arthur K. Arthur K. Uh, he founded the Censure user group, but thank you for uh, taking the time to sit down with me. Uh, what is Censure and why do you have a user group? So Censure is a tech company that makes a series of JavaScript frameworks as well as uh, some supporting tools to help developers build desktop and mobile applications. Okay. And so we started the group because we have a tremendous user community, uh, both here in Chicago and around the world. And I wanted to kind of gather the community here in Chicago since this is where I'm based. Okay, so what, I mean, when you say the JavaScript tools, what are, what are the big ones that people would know? So primarily, you should know. Yeah. Primarily, people are going to know Sentry um, Touch or our uh, ext.js products, which okay. are JavaScript libraries for building either mobile or desktop-based web applications. And, and Raphael, right? Uh, Raphael that... is a uh, sort of side uh, side project that we have uh, built up and sort of extended to build the charting packages within both Sentry Touch and ext.js. Okay, so it's more like a, a lower level API than. Yes. Okay. Yes. But Sentry Touch is the big for building the mobile apps. Yes, okay. yes, that's correct. Okay, so so you're, you're supporting the people who are using your frameworks and, and, and those tools. Are you an Accenture employee or? Yeah, so I work for Accenture. Uh, uh, my role is on the professional services team as a solutions engineer. Okay. And that kind of boils down to uh, going out to our larger clients to help do product trainings, to physically help build applications, Sometimes I speak at conferences and do a variety of other things. So, uh, what what kind of topics are you doing at your Sancha meeting groups? So, Sancha meetings. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. Sancha. So, here at the Chicago User Group, we cover a variety of topics, uh, almost always geared towards the Sancha tools and Sancha frameworks. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, uh, this month, for example, we are talking about Siesta, which is a uh, unit testing framework. Mm -hmm. um, some months we cover Sentra Touch and go in depth and do how to build custom components. Uh, sometimes we cover native packaging. Sentra offers some native packaging tools. Uh, sometimes we even cover topics that aren't directly related to Sentra's frameworks. Uh, if there are either outlying JavaScript libraries that might plug into an application or a methodology uh, that developers might want to use in their own projects, then uh, sometimes we'll have a guest speaker come in and present those topics as well. Yeah, because you're so uh, much of a JavaScript-based system. Mm -hmm. Do you ever do? Do you ever ever work with the local JavaScript groups and have cross meetings or anything? Once in a while, yeah. Um, uh, there have been a few times where we or I should say uh, that I have gone out and spoken at the Chicago JavaScript meetup. Uh, they've been kind enough to host us, I think, twice. And I've been to a force.com uh, meeting. And I've been trying to get some other of uh, these groups to come in and present, like I said, some some topics that plug into the ecosystem that Sentry developers are going to be uh, somewhat familiar with. So something web or native based, uh, probably in a JavaScript manner. Okay, um, so or, or like a, anything like a back to basics, back to fundamentals. Yeah. And so, okay. Yeah, those kinds of things. So what ultimately, what made you want to start the group? And, and how long has the group been around? So the group's been around for not quite two years now. Okay. And back when Sentra first hired me, which was the uh, the winter of 2010, they, uh, or I should say, I had previously been using Sentra's products, mm -hmm. and I was trying to connect with other developers here in Chicago, and had just never really gathered enough steam to get uh, the group off the ground. And once Sentra brought me on board, they made it very easy to facilitate that. They, you know, would provide some sponsorship of. Uh, Paying for the uh, meetup.com right. site that we have, uh, and that really allowed me to go out and find people, get the location that we have to meet every month, uh, and then bring people into the group. Okay, great. And uh, 
So well, actually, kind of answer my next question. I was going to ask is about the sponsorship. It's and obviously Sanjay is very interested in and supportive mm -hmm. of. Uh, like how, about how many people do you usually see? Because it's uh, like I, I just say like when I saw the Sanjay group, I had to do a little bit of research even to find out what Sanjay is. Mm -hmm. I don't know how known. Like how do you go about um, sharing that there is this group and and also reaching people that might not otherwise know of. Toolkit. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, on a month-to-month -month basis, the number of people that we have attending uh, varies somewhat. Usually, we get between uh, 15 and 40 people every month, and usually, people have uh, found the group either through uh, Meetup.com, meaning that they have been members of other JavaScript groups mm -hmm. and noticed that we are here, sort of signed up, right. or on the Sencha message boards, I can go out and advertise that we've got a group looking for people here in Chicago. Oh, okay, so there's a channel through the Sencha there. There's a channel there, and then, uh, as I said, Sencha really goes out of their way to help support our group as well as the other groups that are around the country. So, if you have downloaded one of our products, you're probably on the Sencha mailing list. Right. And once every couple of weeks when we send out here are the upcoming events that Sencha will be at, they will highlight some of the user groups in the areas. So uh, those are primarily the avenues that people find us. Sometimes it's just uh, uh, word of mouth. Uh, you know, colleagues and coworkers will tag along with people. Okay, so what is your typical schedule? We typically meet once a month, uh, usually the last Thursday of every month. Last Thursday. Okay. Um, you know, with uh, this being November, next month being December. Uh, that will change a little bit <laughs> for the holidays, yeah. but we we almost always meet once a month, and it, it's almost always on Thursday. Okay. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to sit down. Well, I very much appreciate it. Thank you.